Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua preached the words of wisdom and knowledge of Christ Jesus to the people, as he believed that the gospel is the power of God that brings salvation to those who believe in Christ Jesus. And his legacy lives on as he hang over to one of his son, Senior Evangelist Terence, the same words of wisdom. Say never. 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 You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. In the presence of Jesus. 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 Of Jesus. There is freedom. There is freedom. There is liberty. There is liberty. There is happiness. There is happiness. Man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nothing good comes easy. <laughs> Say never. 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 Nothing good. Nothing good. Nothing good. Comes, easy. comes easy. Must be any price. Most important. Most important. I want the whole presence of this person. Most important. Most important. I want double proof of this. I want double proof of that. Can you pay the price? Most of the times, we only focus more on the product. But not knowing that to get the product, we need to also ask about the price. A wise man, you focus more, ask more about the price eh? yes, sir. than what you are seeing. Focus more on the story behind everything. Uh -huh. Because from the story, you will gain the momentum to you know if you can carry it or not. I receive many calls. You hear people say, ah, man of God, I want double portion of your mind. Ah, I say, my brother, do you also want double portion of my shop? Because we we'll always have those things we cannot handle. When you say you want double portion of somebody, I know if you also say, I want double portion of the trouble too. Because the anointing comes to the trouble. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every great position, eh? You must receive attack according to your position. If you are a quarter head, you receive a quarter head attack. If you are a chief, you receive chief's attack. If you are a mayor, you receive mayor's attack. So can you carry it? Can you stand the pressures? You want to be a leader? Who is the leader? There is someone who can, can stand pressure. You want to lead? Sometimes it is better to lead sheep than to lead human beings. It's true. You just know where they will eat. This one like this, you just to tap like this, you take the right part. But human beings, you are like this. I know you today, I will not know you tomorrow. The you I see today may not be the you I will see tomorrow. That is why I cannot put my trust on you. <laughs> because you will fail me. Say neighbor. Never. Don't put your trust on me. Don't put your trust on me. The reason why you fail today is because you trusted man. The reason for the pain is because you trusted man. Who caused the pain? It's man. All your pain is caused by who? Man. man. It's man. Is it not man? It's man. You say it's Satan. No. You say it's devil. No. Say never. Never. My pain, My pain. is caused, it's caused by, man. by man. If you stand to hurt someone, <coughs> was it the devil who stands to hurt? It's you. You make yourself available. The devil cannot just attack. He must use man to attack. When the devil wanted to attack uh, Jesus, who did he use? He used man. And the people who are very close to you, those are the people that hurt you. The moment somebody is too close to your heart, when the church even is like this, just the touch of that place, it not so bad. An enemy will never hurt you. The reason why you keep up today, down tomorrow, up today, because you put your trust on man. Man will always fail you. Man is desperately wicked. So the cause of all your trouble is man. It's not Satan. You hear somebody say it's the work of the devil. Which work of the devil? It's the work of you. Stop blaming the devil all the time. It's not the work of the devil. It's the work of who? You. you. Before the devil comes to possess you, open the door. When you acknowledge the presence of God, it takes control. When you acknowledge the presence of Satan, it does what? It takes control. I say Satan will always attack your mind. When you give it to it, he possesses your spirit and destroys your life. Oh, yes. Never. Never. Satan will tempt your mind. Satan will tempt your mind. When you open your mind, when you open your mind, he will possess your spirit. He will possess your spirit and destroy your life. And destroy your life. As your sister 
here. The safe faith is a thing of the heart. But I tell you, faith is a thing of the heart, but it must start from the mind. Say never. Faith is a thing of the heart. But it must start from the mind. Satan doesn't have any power in your spirit. Satan can never possess your spirit without you giving Satan permission from the mind. You can never accept whatever I'm saying without your mind analyzing what I'm saying. Your spirit cannot accept it. You will first assess me. Your physical eyes will look at me. Your ears will hear me. If you take all the information and give it to the mind, the mind will begin to assess that information. What this man is saying, is it true? The moment the mind accepts that whatever I'm saying is true, it sends sickness to the heart. When the heart receives the sickness, it receives it as belief. Hallelujah. That is how it starts. This is how the devil tempts you. He starts like this. Hey, brother. Look at your family. No one has made it. You will die poor. You will die poor. The devil has not possessed a spirit. He has not touched you. This is why Christianity is a battle. Satan will be saying all these things in the world. He will be bringing you picture of poverty. Because your mind collects pictures, you will be playing those pictures to you, you will be playing like a film. You will be watching it. Ah, see my sister, I go visit me, they even go chop self. I see the condition. Eh, you will be communicating with those pictures. Ah, ah, ah. If you don't rebuke that picture at its earliest stage, your mind will believe it. And when your mind believes it, it will begin to send signals to your heart. The moment it sends signals to your heart, because your heart is a sacred place. It's a place where the Holy Spirit can dwell or the evil spirit can dwell. The moment it sends signals to your heart, your heart receives that as belief. That belief would start to direct your action and re your reaction. Because we act according to our word, our beliefs. When it reaches your heart, I cannot carry this table because it may fall on me. Because that's what is in your heart. You have already taken that. Hallelujah. You will see him now because that thing has talked to the mind. It has gone to the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Your battle between you and Satan is not first in the spirit. It's what? The mind. It's in the mind. Your battle between you and Satan is what? It's in the mind. But Satan has not possessed you. The moment he enters your spirit and begins to trigger your actions and reactions, Satan has captured you. Satan has not possessed you if you begin to have things running through your mind. Satan has not possessed you. But be careful to deal with those things at its earliest stage. Because even the Messiah faced this. There was a period Jesus Christ almost gave up. Remember the Bible said, Jesus Christ went to the mountain and he cried, Lord, Lord, take this cup away from me. But yet, let your will what has happened? The devil has brought pictures and you begin to see Nay going to the hands. Bam! Bam! Oh, ah. Your body automatically feels that. Oh my God. I'll be the one to take this thing. Your mind begins to play you picture of how they'll be nailing you. Are you seeing? So now, the body could not take it because the body always wants comfort, always wants the best. Hmm. He said the spirit is willing. But the flesh is weak. But all these things they from the mind. When they say Jesus Christ went into the wilderness, the Spirit of God led Jesus Christ to the wilderness of to pass for 40 days and 40 nights, and he was tempted by the devil. Did you think it was a physical thing? No, it's a spiritual thing. It was a battle of what? The mind. If you face this battle every day as Christian. If you read your Bible, you don't go deep into it, you will not understand what is happening. You see the devil every day, but you don't know the devil. You cannot identify the devil. That is why the devil always wins you. The devil attacks your mind. What the devil do? He tempts your mind. Eh? When you give into that temptation, he possesses your spirit and begins to destroy your life. Because through that, he can push you because it is already a belief. He can begin to push you, begin to act according to that belief. I'm um, poor, let me just try to survive. It's the only thing I can do to work and do. That is all. You must be ready to deal with the devil from the mind. 
before he can possess your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Be ready to deal with the devil at his earliest stage. The devil will always bring pictures to your mind. As you are here, eh? do you know your mind will first travel and reach the house before your spirit goes there? Maybe you're cooking, maybe you left the chicken or if you were drying some fish and you forget it. Your mind will fly and go to that fish before your spirit goes there. The moment your mind flies and goes there, if you, don't, you are not careful to, to deal with that particular thing at its earlier stage to wipe what is fish, you are communicating every time. If you, don't, if you cannot deal with that, your spirit will fly and go there and instantly yeah, you will start to be worried. Ah, that's my fish. Eh? That's my fish. It's because that's your belief and it will push you action. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me demonstrate this. Let me use people. Mm -hmm. So this is how it is. Hallelujah. Amen. This is how God and Satan operate. I want you to see this. Just stand behind. Please come. I will say this is God. This is the mind. Hallelujah. This is the heart. This mind is the man who, who takes action. Just stand here. This is how it happens. You are my son. I have destiny for success. You begin to say that. You will die poor. You will never make it. Come. Just begin to tap this man. Just begin to, begin to tap his chest. It's happening in your mind. Are you understanding what is happening? You will always be poor all your life. There are two voices talking to him. Came from a generation Those two voices. How do you think you can be rich? Stop. Stop. Hallelujah. Now it is for him to analyze whose voice he wants to heal to. Eh? I will see you stand here. I am a child of God. I will not die poor. If my family go poor, I will not go poor. Mm, I have seen people make it through Christ. I have seen the works of God. Are you hearing? Yes. Automatically, it will energize the force in him, which will turn to be belief. Are you seeing? Yes. That force will go into the heart. This is his belief now. Are you seeing? Yes. The belief will turn. Are you seeing how, how it works? Yes. This is a big mind. This is the heart. The information has moved from the mind to what? The heart. It will begin to control the heart. The heart will control this man. Put your hand there. The heart will control this man. It will begin to move. Move like a train. That is how it moves. Now, they will be working to their success. That is how it works. Turn back. This battle happens every day in your life. That is the battle that happens every day in your life. God and Satan, they are just like this talking. Every minute, every second in your mind. Nobody dares to go to the spirit. The moment this mind receives it, oh, he gives to the voice of God. He will turn and pass it to this man. As he passes it to this man, this man receives a word. Believe! That one now begins to control this man. This one will just call this man action. Man, this man will act according to that belief because it is belief that drives this man. <laughs> so this is how the devil works. This is how the devil works. The devil tempts your mind. When you give in to that temptation, are you hearing? Yes. He possesses your spirit and destroy your life with your actions. You act according to that belief. That is how it works. Clap with me. So, whatever you're going through, be careful of the mind. If you can control your mind, it doesn't matter whether you're a Christian, whether you're an unbeliever or a believer. When you have a strong mindset, you will make it. God cannot anoint you with a mighty anointing where you have a poor mindset. See, if you have a poor mindset, even if they take you, they give you a billion pounds, you will see before. Take Africa and send to the United States. And take United States and send to Africa. Africa will turn United States to be Africa. And United States will turn Africa to be United States. We will want to run from United States and come back to Africa. Because the mindset is so poor, so low. Please, it doesn't matter whether you are a Christian, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are an unbeliever. Look. God has blessed us. He blessed sinner. Eh? Both the righteous and unrighteous will rain and sunshine. Yes. If you have a poor mindset, you will be poor. If you have a rich mindset, you will be rich. 
It doesn't matter whether you're a Christian or a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So I tell you, try to have the power of the mind. Possess a big mindset and you think. Prayers will not help you in this one. Are you hearing? Yes. Don't come and tell me that I should pray for you to be rich. You will not be rich. When you have a rich mindset, you will be rich. rich. You will be rich. Your mindset attracts the things you want. You are the product of your mindset. You are what? If you are a poor person, that is what your picture sees. That is what you are in there. If you have a rich mindset, you may not have physical money, but that mindset will take you where you want to be. If I stand here, eh? This is how minds are. Your mindset will attract what you want to what to achieve. If your mindset is thinking of having three thousand a day, because it's easy to have three thousand a day, everybody can have three thousand a day. Just go to one shanty and knock boom, 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 boom. You have to have three thousand. Is it right? Yes. It is easy, right? Yes, we sir. choose that easy part because it will bring food in our in our stomach. A bigger mindset. He is thinking about million. Hallelujah. He is thinking about million. He may not have that million a day. It may not be easy. But he will definitely have it in due time. While you are busy working at Shanti, you begin to build connection. Because you make friends too according to your mindset. Maybe you don't know. I don't see. You make friends according to your what? Mindset. The people you associate with, if I see them, I know you. So you make friends according to your mindset. If you are looking for a million, you begin to make friends with millionaires. Is it true? If you are trying, you are, your mindset is poverty, you will begin to live on your 33,000. Three this is what a rich mind do and a poor mind do. A poor mind, they try to solve the problem of what? Hungry. But a rich mindset work to solve the problem of hunger. If you solve the problem of hungry, you will still be hungry. But when you solve the problem of hunger, you will never be hungry. A rich mindset will work to solve a problem that he will never be hungry again in life. So it's not a matter whether you're a Christian or you're a world, 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 world. If God cannot anoint you if your mindset is poor, he cannot give you all these things. You will still take it, eh? And he spoil it. Your poverty will take you to the village. You will go and sit in the village where there is cocoa and begin to fight cocoa and land with your grandpa and mama with the anointing. Because that's your mindset. I decide this. So try to transform your mindset. There is power in your mind. There is power in your what? Mind. Your mindset. We keep talking about faith. I will receive by faith. I will receive by faith. You know what is faith? You know what is faith? Faith starts from the mind. Oh my God. This thing you call faith starts from where? Mind. See, let me tell you something. You see this thing that come and stand and say, be healed. You see doctors report, they are saying that this person will not do this. I will stand and stretch my hand. That be healed. Sit there and begin to see that the thing is easy. See, if you have a poor mindset, you stand, you cannot bring that person here. Because first, the devil will attack your mind. What if, look at this, what if that person is not here? You will be the one to take shame here, oh. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> You think that they won't talk to me too? He threatens my faith. We bargain, we fight. I have to defeat the devil from here. I keep my faith before the thing can happen. We fight every day with the devil. If I stand, I begin to tell you that people will live from far and wide and all corners of life, they'll come here and worship. Eh? It's because I've reached there. <clears throat> my mind as well, first word, reach there. God has seen my mind, seen my heart before granting me that. If you have come here, you have seen the power of God different. And you have seen the move of the Holy Spirit differently. It's all about what mindset. Because God will never give you something that your mind cannot carry. I wanted something different from the Lord. Not something the world has already seen. That is why you see him give me that thing differently. We must be willing to carry it. Hallelujah. Say neighbor. Yeah. Transform your mind. Transform your you are mind. not poor. You are not poor. Your mind is poor. Your mind is poor. Renew your mind. Renew your mind. And you'll be rich. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Not conform to the pattern of this world. But be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Transform your mind. And you'll be great.
transform your mind out, you will be great. You will be great. There is not amount of prayers that I will give you that will make you wealthy. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. Please. This generation will need to step up. So that will not be used. The greatest gift you need to have is the gift of what? The Holy Spirit. You need to have the Holy Spirit. That will reveal you all truth. Without the Holy Spirit, you perish. Without the Holy Spirit, social media, news station, there will be your spirit and people's mouth to lead you. If you think that you are coming here to add the population of the church, please, the road is open. I don't need population. Find your way. With you or without you, if God has anointed me and made me great, eh, put me behind the mountain. Seek people see come and look for me for prayers. I don't need your population. I keep telling you every day, a soul makes heaven to rejoice. Yes. If you are a prophet, you begin to focus on people, people's pocket. You will feel woefully. You will lose your mission. But when you focus on what God has given you, focus more on that. Whatever you want in life will fall in place. I will stand tomorrow. Everything I want, I will just talk. It will just happen. And because my foundation is good. If you have come here, many of you saw the crowd that was here and they said, no, this man is a witch. That kind of power we have not seen. The man moved him on and put it in his people's body. You have heard all these stories, right? If you say, I am not from God, deliver me. But if you cannot deliver me, then there is one thing, and it's for sure, my God is stronger than your God. Amen. I don't fight me, people. But put me here, because, because of what is happening, people will sit down and come here. Please, if they drop you from your church, the road to go back. Are you hearing? Yes, sir. We don't beg people here. Go! Back. Mm. As you receive your prayers, you receive your healing now. Go! Back! Go back. If God has called you and sent you to be my own, you will be my disciple. I don't fight you. They have it much. I stand to say, tomorrow, you will see a crowd you have never seen. Because I don't fight them. People come, they hear the truth. Anyone I've ever paid for, have I hold you down? No. Have I fight you to be here? No. Your soul is what heaven is looking for. We are in the last day, the things that are happening, they are too much. If we begin to keep up in that old way, this generation that is coming will suffer. Go through a little discomfort and a little pain. Then everything in life will be yours. Hallelujah. So, let your heart go to God. If you begin to carry your trust and put it on me standing here, I will fail you. Hallelujah. I am a man. Inside of me, I have to think fighting too. Try to look the God that has sent me. Eh? And you will prosper. Amen. To have the Holy Spirit. So that you will be sent. If they say this man is a witch, go and pray and ask God, who is this man? All these things he is doing, is it from you? When you hear from God, you will decide. That will be your decision. Let social media not be your decision. Please rise up on your feet.